Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, today we're talking about same day surgery coding. If you have not viewed my two previous videos, I did one on physician office coding and I did one on emergency room coding. So be sure and go back and view those two videos. But today again, we're talking about same day surgery coding. First, you have to think about what setting are you in? For same day surgery, it's considered outpatient coding. So if that's an outpatient setting, with outpatient coding, we use CPT for procedures. We still use ICD-10-CM for diagnoses. You start with your admission diagnoses, and your admission diagnoses is used, or it's the condition upon admission. It's that diagnosis, that, that condition that brought you in. But your first listed, which is where your reimbursement comes in, is the condition treated or investigated. It's the main symptom or the abnormal finding. It's the problem. And then any secondary diagnoses are conditions that coexist during the episode of care. They can affect treatment that's provided to the patient you'll see clinical evaluation done for these additional diagnoses. You may even see therapeutic treatment done for these additional diagnoses. And even a designated procedure may be performed. So again, these secondary diagnoses are these conditions that coexist that require services. Hypertension, diabetes, these are some examples of additional comorbidities that could be going on at the same time as the condition that brought you in for same-day surgery. So because resources will be rendered or used for those services, you also code those. Now your first listed procedure in same-day surgery is the procedure with the highest payment associated with it. And then you have, if you have secondary procedures, they are less complicated than the first procedure, and it's because third-party payers tend to just reimburse at a lower rate for secondary procedures than they will with the primary procedure. They start at like 50% for a secondary procedure versus 100% for that primary procedure. So again, with same-day surgery, you have to think about what is the correct classification used to code these encounters. And again, these patients are coming in and going home, the goal is that same day. So if it's same day surgery in and out, it's considered outpatient. And just remember the classification system that we use for inpatient versus outpatient coding. And so in this case, because same day surgery is considered outpatient, we stay with ICD-10-CM for the diagnoses and CPT for the procedure. Okay guys, I hope I broke this down for you so that it makes sense. My next video will be talking about inpatient coding. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure and do that so you don't miss a video. All right, thanks guys.